Wait. Gonna save this. So what this is is if you don't know, it's from Devin slash make anything channel and what you do is you print this out, you fold it like an accordion. And you see something from the other angle, and from the other angle, you also see something. I want to do something like this. I want to do my own. So, I've decided that I'll make my own. This has got nine pieces, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can split up the image. Like, if you want. If you cut this in half, then there were eight pieces, and you had ones that were in four pieces, then that would actually be fine, because... It would still work, you just wouldn't see the full image. So as long as you can put the image on, it doesn't matter how many pieces you have. You just need to do it. Now, lucky for you, I've already prepared a template right here. So you could take, like, a screenshot now. This one's only got... Wait, one. Yeah, it's only got eight bits of the different colours. Well, they're not colours, they've just got dots on it because it's easier. But they've got eight bits. This will still work. But as you can see right here, this is a little too big. Why does this matter? Well, actually, it doesn't really matter, but... You know, everything's more better when it's perfect. So you actually want to do that. Okay, so what we can do in this app called Sketch is you can get a ruler out and you can see how much of the ruler this takes up. And this takes up about So as you can see, it's more even now. So, but you want to still save this again. And because this is mine, I can take a photo of it. Even if you go into sketch and you do the stuff, unfortunately, you're not allowed to take a photo of it for some reason. It just doesn't allow you. There's no way you can do it. Or whatever so that you can take a photo and if you already uploaded it and it's in your profile you can't take a photo for some reason I know it's stupid so what we want to do is we actually want to crop this so Okay, so what we've did right here 
is we've made it so each of them are basically equal. They might not be exactly equal, but they're good enough. What you then want to find is some pictures. I'm not Canadian, I just can't. I was too lazy to look for an Australian one or even press on it. So I just went with one of them. If you actually go down, it takes you this long to find an Australian one. Are you serious? Now, unfortunately, you can't use a GIF. Because if you use a GIF, you, you're going to have to take a photo of it. It's got to be something you can take a screenshot of. Because it won't work, unfortunately, with a GIF. Well, actually... I know how to do that, but you'd need multiple pieces. And you would have to record it very fast. You would have to record it. And what you want to do is you want to get this exact size because that will work the best. Let's see HD. Okay. So... I made the calculations based on the one we use in Sketch. And I've got a Canadian flag and a skull, which are the same size. Now, what we want to do is we can open up, um, let's see, Adobe Photoshop Mix. This might help. Now, of course, you don't need to use this. But we're going to use it anyway. I'm going to do this. Just... If you don't already know how to use this, you can do the flower and rain thing. Basically, you can crop, adjust, looks, cut out, and you can blend, which is the main feature we're looking for. And, of course, you can exit out of that, make a new project. Um, you can go into Lightroom. Which actually isn't what we want. We don't have any photos in here yet. And I don't even know what that is. But what we want to do is we want to go into device. Or you can go into camera. If you want to take a certain photo. Then you can crop it if you can. And what you want to do is you want to take this one. Okay, so you want to import from saved photos again, and you want to import. Oh, well, sick. Okay, so we're actually going to take. Because these are JPEGs, they cannot be opened for some reason. Which I find very interesting. Taking the screenshot is it's a certain size and we'll shrink it down to a different size if we if we try doing that. So you can use this But what we actually want to do is go into save the photos and let's test this out with a screenshot. Now, as you can see, we can blend it. And if we do soft light, there's also overlay, which will, will bring out some of the color. It's green, which also brings out the color. Lighten. There's also difference, it shows the difference between them. Luminosity, I don't know what that does. Multiply, which basically puts them over each other. Darken and normal. 
and you can change the opacity so if you do this that's gonna be pretty good so now this actually isn't what we want so we can use this app as well but first thing we want to do is um we discard this because we already have it and what we want to do is we want to take our pictures now i got to get rid of something for this purpose got to get rid of my rubber print and scan app now the problem with that is so we put this here best leaf okay now let's try opening this file again now it opens it with print and scan just amazing okay so we don't want to open it with print and scan Now, for the sections, you can make your own, or you can take a piece of paper and cut it to the size of the other ones. Now, you can do that yourself. You can look up the following illusion, or you can take a screenshot. Just go back to what I was showing it, and then you can make your own one template or you can screenshot my template so dots don't really matter you can go back into any drawing app and cover them up they don't matter but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna crop out all of them so we're gonna copy the picture two times because I just want to see because action I want to see if it changes it or it saves the changed version as well as the normal version. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to get rid of them if it makes a new version. Okay, so this is what I've did so far. I had to split up a flag. So basically they've got all different ones and I'm working my way up. Now, as you can see, they don't fully fit, which is a problem. Now, as you can see, these are the same ones, so we've got to get rid of that one. Now, it's not that easy, and I'm putting them down there for one reason. It's going to be too hard if they, if they put them up because I can't stretch them out so that they fill the whole space. So I'm going to have to take probably one from the other one or I can just cut up my own and use that. Or I can print out another one. But what I, I'm actually doing is one, two, three... Before I clicked on this, the one that was the same one, this one isn't the same one. I think I made this one wrong. I 
actually going to look at the original flag. Because I think I did this wrong. Screenshots. Now. Yeah, I got the wrong part. Because one, two, three. And now the third part I got right. But it was actually here. Okay, I gotta start marking them. Just so I know. back sorry okay I'm gonna figure this this out again and then I'll come back by five minute crafts I'm gonna unsubscribe for you soon you know what screw it you guys get the points I might do an actual thing of how to make make one if you if you've just got a bunch of images and you haven't got maybe got access to one of these apps that has these features, I'll do one of those. 
but screw it, you know, cut it, cut it up into how many pieces your template has. And then, I mean, unfortunately, I can't do one for you, but I can show you what the finished product is meant to look like. Now, when it prints out, it will be nothing special. Simply a flat piece of paper with the alternated images on them. But this will change when you actually, you know, make them. So you get it, and goodbye. Now you know how to make one. I'll show you what the finished product is meant to look like, in case you forgot what it looks like. I'm going to try to make one, and then I'll show you later. But for now, goodbye. So, um, this is what it's meant to look like. You have them alternating. Now, unfortunately, if you press edit on this, you can't get one of these individual pieces. It will just stop right there, which is actually the problem. The only way to capture one of these is if you la use the lasso, and that's about it. Goodbye. And actually, I'm not gonna do that because I don't care. Bye.